What is up guys? Welcome back to your fifth JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use variables with a string of text in your program. So it's going to be awesome and it's actually really helpful um, in understanding how these programs work and trust me you're going to use this a lot whenever you're programming JavaScript. So let's go ahead and uh, well enough of me talking let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we need is two variables. Go ahead and make a variable called name and just set it equal to of course whatever your name is Bucky and go ahead and make another variable called like age or something and set this equal to your age I'm 24 so of course I'm gonna set mine to 24 so we already know that we can use document dot write to basically write things out on the screen so we can either write name and if we go ahead and print this out it says Bucky or we could have went ahead and printed out age and it will print out 24 but what if we wanted to include this within a bigger string of text? Well, in order to do that, you need to use the addition operator, aka the plus sign, and you write the addition, and this sticks it to whatever string of text you're trying to type out. So for example, it says, Bucky um, is my name. So go ahead and it's gonna treat this as the word Bucky, and it's gonna add it with this string. So let's go ahead and just see it. Now it says, Bucky is my name. Simple enough. So anyways, whenever you want to write a variable inside a string of text, you just can't, you know, write something like this. You just can't go ahead and write name is my name, or else check it out. It's going to say name is my name. If you want to treat that as the variable, you need to put it outside the quotation marks, and you need to stick it together with that plus sign, and then it works perfectly and not only can you do this before but say you want to write something after like Bucky is my name and my age is plus age so again not only can you do this before your text but you can also do it after and check it out Bucky is my name and my age is 24 so easy enough that is how you use variables alongside strings of text whenever you're trying to write out stuff so Let's go ahead and delete all this and let me um let's go ahead and make some new variables. Let's go ahead and make a variable named tuna and set this equal to I am a fish. And then go ahead and another make another variable called bacon and set this equal to baconator. And then go ahead and add one more called hmm I only got like two things. Why do I think of tuna and bacon all the time? Anytime I make a variable, I made like a thousand tutorials, and I swear I only made like two variables, tuna, bacon, and ham. So, heck it. Might as well include ham and set this equal to hamburglar. Make sure it's spelled wrong or else it won't work. So anyways, we have three variables right now, and we already know that we can stick them on a string of text. But what you didn't know, or maybe you did, is that you can also stick them alongside one another so tuna bacon plus ham and whenever we try to print this out it's gonna give us I'm a fish baconator hamburglar so let's go ahead and see that I'm a fish baconator hamburglar you know it doesn't make any sense at all and I probably should pick something that did make sense but hey this is just an example who the heck cares so anyways that's what I want to teach you guys in this tutorial about that addition sign and whenever you're working with variables or strings of text you need to include that addition sign or else it's not going to work so again that's all I want to teach you guys for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to be diving a little deeper into JavaScript and going over some more advanced topics but trust me they're going to be easy to follow along with and just stick with me and in no time you'll be a JavaScript pro so anyways thank you guys for watching um, don't forget, if you have any questions, just go to my forum, thenewboston.com slash forum. And if I don't answer them for you, someone else will. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.